Well, Jay Z is dealing with this, you know, stabbing situation. Mm -hmm. He's facing 15 years. He drops a song, Guilty Until Proven Innocent, mm -hmm. with R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Basically talking about the incident. Mm -hmm. When you heard the song, what'd you think? I thought it was a great song. You were bothered at all by it? No, because I, like I said, I was the I was the guy who sat and listened to how big and don't trust you in the studio with me. Hmm. After I paid the kid ten thousand dollars. Okay, and after two years, Jay Z pleads guilty to second degree assault, mm -hmm. and he walks away with three years of probation. Mm -hmm. This was two years later. Mm -hmm. When you heard that he's getting probation for it, how'd you feel? Um, at, at at that point, um, how many albums was he probably up? Um, maybe three million albums. So I said it worked. It worked. Did you ever file a civil lawsuit against Jay-Z or Def Jam or anybody? No. Why not? Um, because like I said, it was a plan. Steve Stout. Okay. Now, you didn't see Jay-Z for a very long time after that. Until Heavy D died. Yes. What happened there? Um, I kind of just, you know, kind of made my way past his security while everybody was like looking at me, like walking to behind them, wondering what I was going to do. And I just, you know, tapped him on his shoulder. He looked at his security like, how the hell you let this guy <laughs> get this close to me? Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I was like, yo, good to see you. And, uh, you shook his hand? Yeah. Did he say anything? Yeah, he was like, what's up? <laughs> Must have been pretty awkward. It was awkward for the people who were at Hev's funeral. Right. <laughs> it wasn't awkward for me and Jay. Me and Jay don't have no problem. Okay. You know, the only problem that I have with Jay-Z is the him and Solange issue. Mm -hmm. You'll see it on the series. <laughs>